we've been a client of Stephen Strategy for many years. Our uh, first opportunity to work together was on a strategic planning initiative where uh, John and you, Brendan, and Mike uh, came to our campus and assisted uh, the institution to develop a strategic plan. We've been very satisfied with that strategic plan. It was from uh, 2003 through 2009, and as part of uh, the value added of working with you, you taught us how to develop a strategic plan, and so we were able to do our next iteration on our own. So we've been very satisfied with the work, and we're now we're working uh, with Stephen Lazarus and his colleague Christina on a project in creating an institution-wide policy manual. So I was very concerned, uh, due to the culture of the institution, that there would be opportunities for us to include a broad range of constituencies in the process. And as a result of the process that you took us through, we were able to engage students and faculty and alumni and community members, certainly our board of tr trustees, in, in the process. And that really uh, served us well. Now, there is that ongoing, continuing expectation of involvement. But due to the fact that we were able uh, to work with you through the processes, and I know, Brendan, on one occasion or more than one occasion, we asked you to come back and uh, work with the faculty or work with the v various committees. So we were very pleased with the process. It has given us a common language as a college community to talk about the initiatives that we're trying to fulfill or we're trying to accomplish. So when I say to the college community or talk to them about putting students first, they know what I'm talking about. And even though the first strategic plan ended in 2009, we, we have kept the major agenda items. I mean, all new operational initiatives uh, have been created, but we talk about creating distinctive Mercy graduates putting students first, being responsible to market uh, forces, being wise and prudent stewards of our resources. And it, it is like a mantra. But I don't think you could come on our campus and not hear uh, faculty and administrators and board members talking about our strategic agenda. I always found that both uh, you and John uh, were great in working with the individual groups. Now, I know on other campuses um, there are never faculty that might cause some consternation. On our campus, once in a while, there were questions raised. And so as a result of your and uh, John's competence, you, know, you were able to come in and, and talk to the groups. And so that always worked well. And it was great to be able uh, to kind of have that uh, opportunity in your hip pocket to kind of call you or uh, John to come in. And we did a lot of work on the, uh, our financial planning model, and Mike was a great asset in uh, helping us to pull that uh, together. It has turned uh, into kind of a long-term uh, relationship that you have been able to uh, assist us in our, our planning, but uh, right now as we're working on our institution, the institution-wide policy ma uh, manual, it, 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 that is really a comprehensive project, and it's getting us to kind of delve down into kind of the bowels of the institution, kind of uh, look at policies that have not been looked at in a long time, and we're, uh, while it's a very complex process, it's very inclusive. We have seven volume re review teams with 50 or 60 people engaged in the process. Uh, but there is a process laid out. We know where we are now. We know where we're going. And we're um, quite confident that we will complete the project on time next fall. John is a golfing partner for me, uh, is, would be a great strength. Uh, um, uh, I think it's the, uh, the expertise you bring, but the way in which you individualize and customize and pay attention to the culture of the institution where you're working. It is not one size fits all. It is unique to your institution, clearly.